Premiers got a chance to meet each other, and it was something of a coming out party for Ontario's new Premier, Doug Ford. But it's hard to say that anything concrete was accomplished at a summit that was supposed to be about eliminating barriers to interprovincial trade. Last year, when the Premiers met in Edmonton, they announced a new Canada Free Trade Agreement they said would cut the red tape that impedes the free movement of goods and workers in Canada. Economists agree those barriers are a multi-billion dollar drag on the economy. But they spent the next year doing very little to implement that deal. I think the Canada Free Trade Agreement was a, a major step uh, for the Canadian economy to reduce barriers for internal trade. Uh, but we haven't taken the subsequent steps after that. And I think there's an acknowledgement of that uh, around the table. So this year, the premiers were determined to show action on at least one item, alcohol sales, the hodgepodge of restrictions that make it illegal to buy beer, wine and spirits in one province and then take them to another. This is a... a Manitoba's fine. Brian Pallister Manitoba brought beer like, from his own uh, province to make the, the point. The barriers to trade mean that it, uh, my staff brought 24 of these beers so we could give them as gifts to my colleagues. If this had been the 25th and I had brought this beer, I could be fined up to $5,000 on a second offence. The premiers say they did strike a deal to move ahead immediately to raise exemption limits for alcohol. But as they ended their session, the summit's chair made it clear that there's still a lot of details to be worked out. We have all committed over the next few weeks and months uh, to take action to significantly uh, increase the levels for import. Uh, that's where we landed on the consensus. Uh, we're certainly going to respect those that want to make sure they have a conversation with the people they represent uh, to get a feel of exactly what that could look like and how they could go about it. The premiers were even more vague when it comes to the change the Canadian wine industry really wants to see, a lifting of the prohibition on online sales between provinces. Extreme disappointment and uh, frustration, frustration not only on behalf of our wineries but uh, uh, for consumers. Nine of ten consumers would like to be able to uh, order wine from another province winery and have it delivered to their home. Uh, that didn't take place today at the Premier's conference. And so the summit ended with some of the same commitments we heard last year, only this time the premiers say they really mean it. <laughs> okay, but Evan, you know, we've been hearing about the need for this to change for so long, and no one really seems to dispute yeah. the fact that it hurts the Canadian economy as is. So, so why does it seem so difficult to bring about actual changes? Well, I think that the premiers come here, they reach agreements in principle, but then when they go home, you know, they face elections in some cases, they start to hear from lobbies back home, people who actually vote in their provinces, uh, raising concerns about this detail or that detail, uh, and there are other pressing matters to deal with. And so it's not so much personalities or divisions between the premiers. I think it's just the inherent inertia of trying to get 13 people to agree to change 13 different sets of rules. Okay, but then why should we expect any actual movement on this this time around? Well, I would say there is some cause for optimism in the sense that the premiers do realize uh, that last year was a bit of a bust, a bit of a failure, that they didn't follow through on the agreement that they'd signed and that they can't just go away and uh, fail to do anything for another year and then come back next year and make the same promises again. They're also feeling more pressure now from the federal government uh, to move ahead with this. Uh, but it must be said that alcohol sales are the low-hanging fruit of internal trade barriers. There are other barriers that cost the economy far, far, far more and will probably be harder to fix as well. Okay, thanks very much, Evan. Thanks, Andrew.